Thanks for joining us. A student armed with a firearm was taken into custody today after Moorhead school leaders say they showed up to Moorhead High's Career Academy with that gun this morning. Valley News Team's Bobby Fallett joins us now with new information, including how the student got that gun in the first place and how parents are feeling about today's alert. Bobby. Yeah, hey, Stacy. Justin, parents are expressing their frustration, saying that they weren't notified of today's alert until nearly three hours after the district first learned about the threat. This afternoon, the district confirmed with Valley News Live that the school did not go into any sort of lockdown at any point in time. The district said in a statement today that they were notified of the threat around 940 this morning. They say at that time, the student in question was not on campus, but later arrived to the Career Academy at 1020. Police confirmed that the student had the firearm in their possession. Moorhead Police released this afternoon that they received a report of a stolen handgun this morning in the 500 block of 32nd Avenue South. The 25-year-old caller told police that a 17-year-old boy was just at his apartment and left with a handgun that was unsecured in a bedroom. The gun owner immediately called the police. Now, police say that they found the gun in the boy's bag at the Career Academy, adding that the gun was never displaced and no known threats of violence were ever made. Police Police say that they are still investigating the intent of the whole situation. Meanwhile, tonight I spoke with several parents who all did not want to go on camera, but are still expressing their concerns in this situation. Lisa here telling us that she is very concerned that a lockdown was not called and her questioning why metal detectors have not ever been installed at the school. Now, the superintendent of Moorhead Public Schools, Brandon Lunak, said to us today that he is grateful for the rapid response and collaboration between staff staff and area police. Lunak says that safety is their top priority. Justin, Stacy. Thanks, Poppy, for that live report. Police say that a long form complaint for felony charges of theft, possession and bringing a handgun to school will be sent to the Clay County Attorney's Office against that 17 year old. Police also say possible charges for having an unsecured gun may be brought against that 25 year old in the case.